On Wednesday, Kuha General Hospital, one of the largest hospitals in the region, with an expected coverage of 5 million people, announced that it's being forced to discontinue essential surgical procedures, emergency OPD services, nutrition services, and food provision for patients due to the ongoing siege on Tigray. Medical director at the hospital, Dr. Kibrom Tawalda, said the hospital had less than 33% of necessary medical supplies in stock, forcing it to significantly reduce services provided at the hospital. Current days. Uh, what we have in our hand is uh, less than 33 percent and uh, more than 8 percent of laboratory reagents are uh, stock out out of stock uh, so the medical equipments and medical supplies also uh, they are damaged following the war and following the siege and uh, blockage so uh, uh, due to this problem Currently, uh, the service given in uh, uh, emergency OPD, in OR uh, theater room, including uh, uh, major surgery, is compromised because we don't have uh, anesthetic drugs like uh, vecronium, pancronium, and uh, succinamitinium. So totally, we stop it uh, major surgery. And in uh, eye clinic also, Patients that uh, deserve uh, after uh, operation or post operation that deserve antibiotics and uh, steroids due to lack of steroid drugs. Uh, so the surgery is already collapsed, it is totally stopped. Dr. Kibrom said that the discontinuation of vital services, especially telecommunication and lack of fuel, has made it impossible to track the status of patients with chronic illnesses such as HIV and diabetes. So from HIV uh, patients that follows uh, HIV medicine drugs, uh, around 121 patients are lost currently and two patients are died. And from diabetic patients that uh, take uh, glucose lowering drugs or anti anti 